Is there any better way than to start your Monday morning off with a Woolies grocery delivery? Let's do a quick haul, like rapid fire. I don't know about you guys, I love seeing what people get in their groceries, but I hate it when it goes on forever, so let's just quickly. Firstly, some bits for the fridge and freezer. We've got salmon, blue cheese for a salad, goat cheese, baggy pastries, biggest ravioli hack, cream cheese for bagels, parmesan, wanted to try these, Yorkshire pud, needed to uh, replenish the stash. Baby peas, thickened cream, I wanna try and make my own butter. Swiss cheese, hash browns, iceberg lettuce, spinach, some corns, sage, chorizo. We've got some chicken fillet, some yogurt, which was a substitute for a different yogurt. Pork and beef mince times three, which was a substitute for beef mince, which is, I find that kind of strange, but anyway. Baby tomatoes, ginger, bikini, pasta curls, this moisturizer we've been using for Remy lately, gravy, beef oxo, chicken oxo, Nesquik because I'm going to try to make my own strawberry coffee. Pasta sauce, balsamic glaze, I don't actually like this but there's a salad I want to make and this is in it or at least a little bit of this is in it. Walnuts, Worcestershire sauce, salt and vinegar chippies because I'm in feeling I like them. Some bananas, almond milk, everything bagels times two. And we have some potato buns. These are actually so nice. Bees and some tissues down here too. You know what song has absolutely just been stuck in my head lately? I never thought I would like it. The first like 10 times that I heard it, I hated it. Because Post Malone is just not in, t in my head. He is an emo rapper you know like that's that's it ram like that's where you started off and like that's just i mean if i could sing i would do the same thing i would jump from genre to genre that being said it is this song it's absolutely stuck in my head so i'm gonna blast this while i put my groceries away on a monday morning oh i'm stoked it's gonna be a good day it's gonna be a really great week let's do it let's do it genuinely confused. Did it not work because it's almond milk? <laughs> I don't know. Let's do a taste test. <laughs> oh, you know what? I'm not even mad that it doesn't look cute because it tastes so good. It's that time of day everybody. I'm gonna start making dinner. A really easy dinner. If you guys don't know, I am the soup queen. As soon as the weather gets cooler, I'm making pumpkin soup, pea and ham soup, tomato soup. I know tomato soup is technically a summer soup. I don't really care. Oh, I made the best minestrone. I've never actually been one for minestrone until I finally made it myself the other week. I need to share that recipe with you guys. But today, <laughs> Tonight I'm making chicken and corn soup. It is from this girl that I follow on Instagram. Her username on Instagram is wholesome by Sarah, but she actually has a website. And it is her chicken and corn soup. Ta-da! And I just realized that the recipe actually has two cans of creamed corn, which I don't have. And if I had realized, I would have obviously ordered it. Um, but I think I'm just going to do it without because I'm really in the mood for like a really light, fresh soup. So I'm going to do it without that. And I'm probably going to skip the eggs as well. It's got a real like Asian sort of twist on it, which I'm really excited about. And I'm really excited about the ginger that's in there as well. But I'm probably not going to put the eggs through. Uh, yeah, I'm going to skip out on the eggs. Probably, and I'm probably, well, definitely going to skip out from using the crammed, crammed, the cream corn. But aside from that, I'll have the recipe linked in the description, as I always do. Let's get into it. it looks really straightforward, which I'm stoked about.
okay and here she is everybody it's absolutely delicious did exactly what i said i was gonna do love it here's rims all blended up just looking scrumptious <laughs> hi hello happy boy how was your sleep <laughs> absolutely blessed today haven't we <laughs> somebody decided to sleep until nine o'clock nine o'clock thank you you must have known that your mummy's so tired you wake up at five o'clock this morning and then after a feed and a nappy change went to sleep again until nine o'clock like is that not just heaven <laughs> Been really enjoying our sleep lately haven't we and it's been so good because I feel like after all this time I'm finally getting some sleep which has been so so nice because it has been so needed maybe I'll finally get better now instead of being sick every couple of weeks if you're gonna keep sleeping wouldn't that be just glorious We've just woken up from another big nap. I got so much reading done while he was asleep. And I just sat down to start editing this video when I heard him wake up. So I think we might have some lunch. Would you like some more chicken soup? Here we are out on a lovely little dog walk and I'm having a little bit of an emotional moment because this is first of all our first time ever pushing this big guy around in his pram for a walk hey handsome fellow <laughs> but secondly this is the first time where he's not in his capsule and he just looks like such a big boy he just looks so grown up and I can't deal I took a picture of him before he left and I was like literally crying so crazy when did you get this big like It's a beautiful afternoon. Love this time of year. Decided to have an everything shower this morning. It's just what the doctor ordered. I'm loving that shampoo and conditioner that I mentioned um, in the last vlog. Which, it takes a lot for me to like move on from products like I still use my old plaques the bond smooth on number six it's called I still use this but after it runs out I probably won't be repurchasing it only because I really love the way way you guys taught me how to pronounce it thank you leave-in conditioner and once my hair is dry I will just go in with two pumps of the hair oil but yeah, love it. Love my new little hair routine. I don't have that like dread anymore when it's time to wash my hair. Ah, oh, because it's just such a chore, isn't it? Like I honestly hate it. But I hate dry shampoo more, so persevere. Also, hygiene, hello. <laughs> oh I just opened the window. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I love living by the ocean, but sometimes there is just this like gross washed up like seaweed smell that wafts through the window and it stinks. Very offensive right now considering, you know, I've just washed my hair, but <coughs> I'm actually really looking forward to my next trip to the hairdresser because I feel like I want to cut my hair off. <laughs> Not like a mum bob or anything like that, but... Do you guys remember, <coughs> like, my very last trip to the hairdresser before Remy was born? And I got these, like, they're, they're pretty much gone, but I got these, like, curtain bangs. And my hair was, like, yes. up to here, pretty much. And it just looked really, like, clean and... I don't even know. I don't even know. What's, what's the word I'm looking for? It just looked old money or something like that you know like it looked really cute and I think I want to go back to that 
which I didn't think I wanted to. I thought that I just wanted my hair to be long and pretty much just dangling from my head. But it's just, it's giving salad. And I don't know, I, I'll, I'll probably regret chopping it off, but I feel like time just goes so fast, hair grows so fast. It's going to come back in two seconds anyway. <laughs> My current hyperfixation breakfast it's an everything bagel with cream cheese and everything bagel seasoning oh god yum you look crazy <laughs> hey guys I think I finally got it I think the key is to whipping it like crazy <laughs> So we brought in the high power guy this morning and then I think also putting the coffee into the milk, not the milk, into the coffee. Go away bubbles. It only took me like five times. That is actually so cute. Proud of myself. So I may or may not have gone a little bit crazy on the Adore Beauty website a few days ago. I just am really loving all of that Laneige skincare that I mentioned in the last vlog. Laneige? Laneige? I don't, I don't really know how to say it, but that led me to want to try more of it. I don't know what's gotten into me. I'm just not scared anymore. I'm not scared to have a little bit of a breakout in my old age, you know? I'm not scared to have a little bit of a reaction if something doesn't agree with my skin. But like I said um, in the last video, wait, did I? Or maybe I edited it out, but I've got the most sensitive skin in the world. And that Laneige water bank is really agreeing with my skin so I figured why not pick up a few more things from them to try so a little haul incoming this is the bouncy and firm sleep mask really excited to try that also in here I grabbed the lip treatment balm since it's coming into winter I figured I'd treat myself to a nice lip balm. And we also have the Laneige Cream Skin Serapeptide Toner and Moisturizer, which is like a toner and moisturizer in one. They had a deal where it was like, you get the full size and the travel version for $60, otherwise it's like 50 just for the big one. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. Not that I go anywhere. <laughs> we have a Tim Tam, um, a CeraVe, Sample the vitamin C cream, also from Laneige. Once I like something, I go a woman obsessed. <laughs> There's no room for anything else. It's just all, all or nothing with me. If I love something, I really love something. It's exciting to be stocked up <laughs> for a while. I'm putting everything away. Oh, it's made my day. It's made my whole day. 
We're gonna need to clean that situation today. I really actually just wanna give the whole bathroom like a little bit of a This whole room just needs some love and I really want to take that mirror out. I've got no way to wipe on it, do I? Who is she? Oh my goodness. We're leaving the house. We're leaving the freaking house because I feel like I've been sat in here for like three weeks straight and I feel pretty good today. I'm still sick. If you guys saw the last vlog, I'm still sick. Yeah. My immune system is well and truly compromised. I've got a doctor's appointment tomorrow. But, I don't know, like maybe I just slept with my mouth open, my throat just hurts, but we're going to go to town. I want to see my sister, and I mostly just want to go for a mooch around Kmart. Like I said yesterday, I really want to like, just give the bathroom a little bit of a revamp. I'm going to drag that mirror out of there today and put it somewhere else. And it literally just got stashed in there. Where did it even used to live? It used to live out like near where Remy's play area is and we were like we just need to like stash it somewhere it's too beautiful to just like throw it in the garage <sighs> so it just got chucked in the bathroom and I really actually it's good in there but I really hate it visually being in there like it's good to have a full length mirror in there hate it being in there so that needs to come out but we're going off track <laughs> I just want to go to Kmart have a mooch around see what they've got in the way of like home decor really might need to get some containers too because clay really wants to start making Dwayne his food he's had a chat with the vet about it Dwayne's in perfect health like he's the most he's the healthiest happiest little boy in the world but um he pretty much eats dried cardboard like we fed him what royal cannon since he was a puppy and he's so healthy and so happy but he could be happier and we really want him to live a long time so Clay's a hunter if you guys don't I wouldn't recommend looking at his Instagram but um he hunts deer so there's like no better meat that you could feed your dog I don't eat it I don't like it it's too like gamey for me but <sighs> we're going off track again so let's just go let's go to Kmart let's go see the sissy and it's gonna be a really warm day which I'm not happy about I'm actually wearing shorts and I have my legs out and I feel <laughs> exposed. The sun is actually so hot. Not run into it. It's meant to be winter. Like, what is going on? What's going on, Rem? We are in the tray section and I quite like this one. Oh, I can't grab it. I quite like that. I'm not sure if it's exactly what I'm after. It's in the maybe pile. Okay, next stop, bathroom section. <laughs> Many selections down here. Quite like this actually. But I don't know if my soaps will fit in there. Don't really know if it's big enough. Toilet brushes? Mmm. Don't know, I don't mind these. I just don't like it when you can see the top of the brush. So I guess these are the only real option. Flexible toilet brush, that could be cool. Hmm. I almost thought that this was another option when I was looking online, but it's actually basically made out of styrofoam. It's awful. Look how pretty! I'm addicted! As soon as I turn this camera off, I am taking my clothes off. <laughs> but, far out, it is literally like summer. Made the nicest dinner last night. It's one of those like Instagram, TikTok pastas where you just put like, well, I used goat's cheese, salmon, cherry tomatoes. I did like three cloves of garlic and just like throw all of that in the oven and then just mush it all up. 
Um, yeah, I did it with goat's cheese so that Rem could have it. He loved it. And I also just like really finely chopped up some baby spinach and put it in there too. So, hello, leftovers for lunch. But, came out was a bit of a fail. I got my tray. Hopefully this works how I'm imagining that it will. But, there is one very exciting thing that we came home to. Which is actually this throwback to my childhood, which I'm really excited about. <laughs> I have been craving playing this game for months now. And it's not on, like, on Nintendo Switch. You can download this, like, app, but it's online. And it's a bunch of, like, iconic Nintendo 64 games. But this one is not on there. Ah! My heart! I've just been craving it. You guys are never gonna guess what this is. You've got five seconds. It's about a bear and a bird. <sighs> I'm really excited to play this and I hope that it works. But it is Banjo Kazooie. Did you guys ever play this when you were a kid? I loved it. We were such Nintendo kids, like, never really got into PlayStation. I always just felt like Nintendo games were the best. And I can't wait to try this out. Yay, what a throwback. I'm stoked. How exciting, Ram. How exciting. Somebody's awake. Can you say hello? Good morning. Actually, I woke him up because if you slept for much longer, you'd mess up your wake window. Oh, well, that's lovely. Thank you. It's a new day and I just wanted to jump on to close out this vlog. I feel really bad because I feel like we haven't done anything for, oh, like since we got back from going to Jindabyne. But I also know that with my favourite vloggers, like I would literally watch them paint a wall and then sit there and watch it dry. Like, I, I really, they could post anything and I would be happy to watch it. <laughs> I'm like, oh, like I'm craving a shopping day, maybe I could vlog that, but then it's like as soon as I get wherever I'm going, I just want to go home. I just much prefer to online shop. I just really hate shopping centres. Yeah, please let me know what videos you guys would like to see because I'm more than happy to, you know, make the TK Maxx trip if you guys are keen to go with me. Like, I just get so worried though because it's everywhere is so far for me to travel and you never really know if it's going to be good like more often than not whenever I like make the trip to go on a little shopping adventure there's never anything in the shop so I'm like just take me back bloody home like why did we leave the house however with that being said I know that we haven't really left the house lately but I feel like my extremely burnt out battery is finally recharging and I've just been spending lots of time, obviously, at home. <laughs> Reading my book, I've actually been taking this one quite a bit slower. Because we're nearly at the end of the bloody series. There's like a tiny book after this and then one big one and it's done. Yeah, I've really just been taking the time to rest and recharge my battery. And I'm so happy that you guys are here to hang out with me while I you know do that like it's so nice that you guys are happy to just hang out with me in my house while I potter around. I've even had the time to finally catch up on some of the people that I like to watch on YouTube which is just absolutely unheard of because it takes so much time to actually watch the creators that you enjoy which is why I appreciate you like you watching this video so much because especially after you have a baby like it's so hard to just get that time and I really appreciate that you guys are here honestly from the bottom of my heart thank you so much for being here and watching this video and if you made it to the end thank you I'm gonna stop talking now but yeah like I said please do let me know what videos you would like to see and that is gonna be it for me love you all so much thank you so so much for watching please don't forget to like the video subscribe if you're not already and hope you all have a fabulous weekend and I'll see you all in the next video. Love you so much. Bye.